The second annual churchmilitant.tv Retreat at Sea is coming up in January. This year's theme is about the Catholic Restoration and what you can do to get involved. Click the link for more details. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. As seen in recent news, Planned Parenthood received almost $400,000 in a Navigator grant from Obama to help push his universal health care law. Two major Catholic nonprofit organizations have received the same grants. Ascension Health, the largest Catholic and nonprofit health system, received a $200,000 Navigator grant in Alabama and a $165,000 grant in Kansas. Catholic Social Services of the Archdiocese of Mobile received $20,000. Michael Hitchborn from American Life League has said that by taking government funds to enroll people in Obamacare, it is clear that as far as these Catholic organizations are concerned, money is more important than souls. This September, many American bishops and priests will be preaching to their flocks about backing changes in U.S. immigration policy. Some priests will talk at their Sunday Masses on Sunday, September 8th, to persuade parishioners to pressure hesitant Republicans and Democrats to support Obama on a new immigration policy that includes encouraging citizenship for unauthorized immigrants. The new campaign hopes to draw the interest of Catholic congressmen, which make up just over 30 percent of the members of the House, the largest single religious group in Congress. The Archdiocese of Philadelphia will be selling six of their nursing homes and one assisted living facility in order to resolve their $39.2 million deficit from 2011-2012. The Archdiocese, which has already sold the Archbishop's residence and cut Chancery staff by 25 percent, also announced that it may outsource the management of its 11 cemeteries. On Tuesday, the Governor of California vetoed a bill that would have removed a ban on women being compensated for donating their eggs to medical research. The practice of paying women for their eggs was banned six years ago by the state. In the governor's veto message, he said, quote, Not everything in this life is for sale, nor should it be. Pope Francis will be holding a consistory on September 30th to announce the official approval for the sainthood of Blessed John Paul II and Pope John XXIII, and will also include dates chosen for their canonization. The Pope has previously mentioned considering dates for the two popes' canonization to possibly be December 8th of this year and Christ the King Sunday or Divine Mercy Sunday of next year. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about Church of Nice dying on the vine. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.